hey y'all so today we are going over my current beauty favorites so i think the last time i did a favorites video i told you guys that i wasn't gonna really be doing it on a monthly basis anymore just because i don't want to force products on you so to speak obviously we have new hair um and as always whenever i do my hair in a different hairstyle i'm not too sure if i like it but i am going to do a full review on this hair this is an outre um coily curl yeah the outre 4c curly curl coily curl i think it is i think i might be wrong i'll put a link to it below so if you want to see my current beauty favorites then just keep watching first thing we have here is this neutrogena light i wish i knew like the correct name for it but i'm just calling it neutrogena light um so i'm pretty sure you guys have seen these um either you saw this or you've seen like their full face mask it emits this light it uses pink and blue light which is supposed to really help with inflammatory acne so basically like if you get blemishes and they're usually like very red very swollen now I'm not gonna say that this is like gonna totally transform it overnight it's not gonna do that but over time like using this like for you know a couple of days on a, a blemish that you might have you will definitely see a difference with it recently I did just get these Sigma brushes that I am loving I love these brushes um, I believe it's called the it girl set um, so it comes with three different brushes it comes with the bake buki which is like a flat top kabuki brush very good I use this to like um... okay so it's like 10 o'clock who got their babies outside at 10 I don't know if you're gonna say speed or if you laugh a large angled contour brush this is like one of the best contour angled brushes that I've ever used and then finally I have the strobing fan we all love a fan brush don't we um, and I like this one because it's a lot denser than most fan brushes I love these brushes if you are in the market for some new brushes I would definitely say look up Sigma brushes because they are very very good quality brushes next we have a lip gloss I feel like it's been a while since I've talked about lip gloss that's this Sephora lip gloss it is their um, what is it called I think it's like their ultimate shiny lip gloss it doesn't have a name on here um, but the color is in number four perfect nude the formula is really nice it's not very sticky but it still has a high shine to it it glides on perfectly I love the applicator that baby's in the building <sighs> Don't have kids. while we're on the subject of lips I have recently resurrected an old favorite of mine and that is the Jordana easy liner I love this lip liner the three colors that I use on a regular basis is Terra kiss Coco loco and rock and rose today I lined my lips with Coco loco that's like my ends all be all so that's all three of them so you have uh, Terra kiss at the bottom Coco loco in the middle and then rock and rose on top an eyeliner that I've really been loving, and I don't know if this is necessarily eyeliner, but I use it as that, is the NYX Wonder Pencil. Um, and this is in the color number three, Deep. Um, so basically this Wonder Pencil can be used for a lot of different things. You can use it to conceal like blemishes or dark, spot, dark spots. Ugh dark spots on your face um, I use it to line the inner rim of my eyes just because I find it's a lot less harsh than like a bright white eyeliner so that is the wonder pencil at the top now we have a highlight as if I need more highlights like I have so many highlights elf came out with a collaboration with heart defensor I think that's her name I'm not sure but this highlight let me tell you is so pretty so it's called the coffee and cream highlighter so that's obviously a coffee this is the cream um, I usually mix them on a daily basis they both feel so good and they go on so smooth I uh, like the coffee obviously a little more than the cream so I didn't have any more space so that's coffee on the bottom and that's cream at the very top 
Um, I obviously like coffee a little bit better because I feel like it just goes better with my skin tone. But whenever the weather starts to change, my skin usually starts to act really funky. It's very dry lately. Um, so I've been using lots of moisturizer and also lots of facial sprays because facial sprays just give me life. I love them. So two that I've been using and loving right now, this is Lumine. This is a Glow Refresh Hydrating Vitamin C Mist. It smells really good. I got this at Walgreens. It goes on very light. It doesn't leave too much of a residue on your skin at all. This one I only wear at night. I never wear this over makeup because this one does leave a little, a little bit of a sticky film on your face. But when you wake up in the morning, it is worth it. Your skin has soaked it all up. This is the Rose Water and Glycerin Spray um, by Heritage Store. I get this at Whole Foods. It is so good. It smells really good. Moving on with body products. This is like almost empty. This should be like empties video. Do y'all like empties? Should I start doing them? Let me know. Um, so if you don't know, if you are new to this channel, I am constantly dry. I was at Trader Joe's and you know how they have that section like new to Trader Joe's? It's, it's my favorite section. I love it. Um, so they have this. It's lemongrass coconut body oil with almond and jojoba oils. It is so good. This, because it smells so good and calming, it just puts me right to sleep. I wish too that it was in a bigger bottle. Like this is a tiny bottle, Trader Joe's. I need a big bottle of this. I'm dry. Whew. I had to take a little break. Anyways, edge control. Y'all know I love a good edge control. This edge control is the truth. I've told you guys before about some edge controls, throw them away. It's blessed, it's blessed, and it will bless your edges. This is a Murphy's Edge Wax. This smells good. It's, it has that fruity, you know, edge control-y smell. It kind of smells like jam, if you know what jam smells like. One thing, it is going to leave a bit of buildup, not gonna lie. Um, it is gonna leave a bit of buildup, and if you don't clean it out all the way, it is gonna kind of leave a white cast. So just make sure, just like with any edge control, you know that like if you're not keeping it fresh and laid down, if you're just sleeping on it all while and whatnot, it is gonna like be a little flaky or whatnot. So make sure you know you're washing it out all the way or whatever. I know y'all know that only washing the edges struggle. My mama, y'all, she is really a black angel. She is a beautiful, sweet, black caramel angel, and I love her to death. My mama bought me this. That's why I call her angel. She bought me this facial steamer. She got it off of Amazon, and I'm pretty sure it was no more than $30 because, you know, my mama will get you what you need, but my mama also budgets, okay? Just like me. Um, so... Yeah, it's a facial steamer. It has two settings, one and two. Two is hot as hell. There's a little pot down there that you put the water in. Now there are two separate add-ons here. This is like for your whole face. Um, so you just place your face in like so. And then this, say if you have like lots of blackheads and things on your nose, you just set this in the middle. You don't have to clip it in or anything like that. You just set it in the middle and you put your face in and your nose sits right in here. Um, and it directs the steam directly to your nose. So you're steaming like that area specifically. That is all for my current beauty favorites, y'all. As always, links to everything will be left below. If you have any questions about this look that I have going on today, I'm feeling very, very 70s right now, I like it. Um, let me know, leave a comment below. I always get back to you guys. Thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe, you guys, because I want to do another giveaway for y'all. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you next time.